Hey guys, Mike here, and we're going to be going over range estimation using mill relation formulas and MRADs, or mill radians. A mill measures angular width, and a radian is an angle whose width of arc is equal to the length of its radius. So if I look at the circle here, my radius is measurement x, that means the width of arc that it covers is also x. So in a full circle, there are 6.283 radians because the circumference of a circle is 2 pi, which is 6.283 times its radius. A mil is one thousandth of a radian. So there are 6,283 mils in a full circle. What this subtends to is a one yard arc at a 1,000 yard radius or also 3.6 inches at 100 yards, 36 inches or 1 yard at 1,000 yards. With mills, this also equals 1 meter at 1,000 meters. Now you can do this with your rifle scope if it has mill dots, spotting scopes, binoculars. The thing you got to know is your reticle itself. Most dots or mill dot reticles are quarter mills or 0.2 mills. I like the 0.2 mills better because it gives me a little bit more options. With the quarter mill, you have your quarter mil dot, it's one mil between dots, uh, from the top edge to the top edge is one mil, or from the cross there to the center of a dot is one mil. And then you have one and one quarter mil from the outer edge to the outer edge of two dots, three quarter mils between the two dots from edge to edge, and if you can imagine a, another quarter mil dot here, you can get a half mil. So I don't really think this is too accurate because I don't get a lot of options here, but with a .2 mil dot, I can get 0.6 mils from the outside edge to the center. I can get 1 mil from the crosshair to the center. 1.1 mil from the crosshair to the outside edge of the first dot. 1.2 mils outside edges of the two dots. 0.8 mils in between. 0.4 mils from the center to the, to the inside edge of this dot. 0.9 mils from the crosshair to the outside edge of this dot. It gives me everything except for about 0.3 and 0.7 mils, but it gives me tenths of a mil and that's going to be a lot more accurate when we're estimating our range over quarter mils. So the formulas, there's a few different ones. They'll give me range in yards and range of meters. The target size in inches times 27.778, which is our constant, divided by the target size in mils, range in yards. Now if I take the target size in yards, times that by 1,000, divided by the size in mils, range in yards. Target size in meters times 1,000 divided by mils, range of meters, and target size in centimeters times 10 divided by mils equals range in meters. So those are a few different ways you can range estimate with uh, mils, and that covers it. Thanks for watching.